nothing to say to you until you apologize. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry I was late to your mother's funeral. <laughs> but right when I was getting ready to go, I hooked the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. It must have been a 25-pounder. What was I supposed to do, just let it go? Yes, you were supposed to leave it and stand by your wife in her hour of need, not go fishing, and then power slide across the cemetery in your pickup truck <laughs> with five minutes left and knock over Charlie Anderson's tombstone. Will you listen to me very carefully? It was a 25-pounder! Where is this fish? Well, I was holding it up so a guy could take a picture of it, and it slipped out of my hand because I'd been eating chicken wings. <laughs> so you don't even have the fish? No, because I was rushing off to the funeral of a woman that nobody even liked! <laughs> play video games? No, honey, it's your grandmother's funeral. You will stay here and be sad. Uh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Papa, that was, that was a nice funeral, wasn't it? How would you know you went fishing? <laughs> I'm sorry, Papa. I don't want an apology. I want to know why you didn't invite me. <laughs> Daddy, we buried Mama today. We buried a set of teeth. <laughs> why did we spend $600 on a casket for a set of teeth? We could have wrapped them up in a Kleenex and buried her in a Tupperware bowl. <laughs> I'm telling you, that ain't her. When Mama bent down to light her cigarette off the stove, she blew up the house, and all they found was a set of teeth. You believe what you want to believe. But she's out there somewhere. Daddy, do you not have one happy memory of your life with Mama? Does today count? <laughs> the only one in this family who knows how to behave at a funeral. For Pete's sake, when you were eight years old, you asked for Santa Claus to kill her. <laughs> Me too. Took a little while, but looked like old Santa Claus finally came through. Hi, <laughs> hi, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Tina, I'm so sorry to hear about your mom. Oh, you can drop it, Lloyd. We're not even pretending anymore. <laughs> Great. All right. Hi, everybody. This is my day to Argentina. Toodles, y'all. <laughs> this old dog can still bury a bone, if you know what I mean. That is it. <laughs> Who brings a stripper to a funeral? That's where I recognized her from. Listen to you people. My mother is gone. Do you would... not remember our fifth anniversary? That is not fair. She was drunk and did not know the gun was loaded. <laughs> She was a monster, a hag. She was horrible, and we all hated her. But that's not the point. In a normal family, when somebody dies, they all share a moment of grief. So that's what we're all gonna do. So start the grieving right now. Are you 
happy, Tina. Yes, I am, Terry. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go fishing. Come on. Come on. So sorry to hear about you, Grandma. Well, we sure appreciate that sentiment. So uh, how'd she die? She ate herself to death. <laughs> really? Yep. First she ate a steak, and then she ate potatoes, and then she ate spaghetti, and then she ate corn, and then she ate okra. Stop. I, I got something to go with this. The word ascot. Well, after hearing how much she ate, it's no wonder her ass got so big. <laughs> Let me do one. Butternut. 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 Well, I told Grandma she butternut eats so much or she's gonna die. <laughs> initiate a possum, initiate a whole deer. And then her ass got huge. <laughs> huge. Initiate Ascot Butternut.